This is an FA-18 Hornet fighter jet. Look here. There are forward extensions of the wing called leading edge strakes or leading edge extensions. Now, why were the wings designed this way? In this video, you'll find out. This video is part of the Representations video series. Information can be represented in words, through mathematical symbols, graphically, or in 3D models. Representations are used to develop a deeper and more flexible understanding of objects, systems, and processes. Hi, I'm Dave Darmafal, and I'm a professor in the Department of Aeronautics and Astronautics at MIT. In this video, we're going to see an example that helps you to visualize the air velocity around an airplane body using smoke flow visualization. You will see that at low angles of attack, the velocity field is independent of time, while at high angles of attack, the velocity field depends on space and time. After watching this video, you will know that flow quantities around bodies are often analyzed using an Eulerian frame. You will recognize that flow velocity is a vector field which, depending on the application, can be not only a function of space, but also time. This is Dick. He's a senior technical instructor here in the Department of Aeronautics and Astronautics. He is in charge of the Wright Brothers Wind Tunnel. Wind tunnels are used to simulate the airflow around a variety of objects, including buildings, cars, trains, and of course, aircraft. The Wright Brothers Wind Tunnel is an example of a closed circuit wind tunnel, which uses a fan to circulate the air. The test section of the Wright Brothers Wind Tunnel has an oval cross section that is 7 feet high by 10 feet wide. The top velocities we typically use are around 100 miles an hour. While somewhat higher speeds are possible, the noise is increased rapidly with increased fan speed. We will visualize the air velocity vector field using smoke visualization. We seed smoke in the tunnel through a handheld probe. This smoke follows the local air velocity, allowing us to see where the flow is going. This smoke flow visualization technique works best at lower wind speeds, so today we'll be testing at about 25 miles an hour. In other words, the speed in the tunnel test section upstream of the model will be approximately 25 miles an hour. We're inside the test section of the Wright Brothers Wind Tunnel at MIT. Uh, the model I'm going to tell you about today is a model of an F-16. Actually, it's not exactly the F-16. It's an aircraft that Lockheed Martin was using to study uh, an F-16. They were planning on increasing the wingspan of the F-16 in the wing area, and they wanted to do a, a bunch of experimental and computational studies to see what would the uh, important aerodynamic and structural effects be. This model here that you're seeing is uh, uh, got the main fuselage, uh, wing, and then a leading edge extension or a leading edge strake. These strakes are used to generate vortices so that at high angles of attack, a vortex will be formed over the main part of the wing, creating low pressure and increased amount of lift. One of the problems with these vortices off the leading edge strakes, though, is they can go unsteady and create large unsteady forces on the wing, or the tail if we had a tail on this model, and that could result in failure of the structures. Um, so this wind tunnel model was used to actually study that. And we'll do some flow wiz of that in a little bit to show you some of the unsteadiness in, on this aircraft. In many aerodynamic applications, engineers analyze flows using an Eulerian frame, in which the flow quantities, such as velocity, pressure, temperature, etc., are viewed as fields, in other words, functions of space. And often, the space of interest is fixed to the object's frame of reference. In our case, this frame of reference is also the wind tunnel's frame of reference. When you watch a river flowing downstream, an Eulerian view of the water flow is to watch the flow through a fixed point of space as the water flows past you. For this demonstration, we will be visualizing the velocity which is not just a field, but in particular a vector field. Further, depending on the flow conditions, this velocity field can be a function of time in addition to space. So we will think of an air velocity vector field, V, which is a function of x and t. We will start by visualizing the flow at a low angle of attack. That would be typical of a cruise condition. Today we are testing at about 10 degrees angle of attack. In particular, the flow at this low angle of attack is, to good approximation, steady. This means that the flow quantities do not depend on time, though they do depend on space. In other words, for the velocity field, v is a function just of x. 
I'll begin by putting the smoke probe relatively high above the model. You can see the smoke essentially travels in a straight line downstream. Note that the line does not change in time, indicating the flow is steady. Now I'll move the probe slowly down toward the model. As I do, note that the smoke flow starts to show curvature, roughly pointing upwards in front of the model and then pointing downwards behind the model. This clearly shows that the direction of the velocity field changes depending on where we look at the flow. Further, note that the smoke lines are again steady. That is, when I hold the probe tip at a fixed location, the shape of the smoke line doesn't change in time. Thus, we see that the air velocity for this condition is a steady or time-independent vector field. In other words, v is just a function of x. Finally, let's take a look at the flow that travels near the leading edge strakes to see if there is any evidence of a vortex. From this rear view, we can see the presence of a vortex at the leading edge, but you'll see later at high angles of attack that the amount of swirl is much stronger. Over the main part of the wing, the smoke stays concentrated. At the higher angle of attack case, you'll see the mixing due to the unsteadiness. Now let's increase the angle of attack to about 25 degrees. At this angle of attack, we will see that the smoke lines in some regions will no longer be fixed in time, even though the probe location is fixed. This indicates that the velocity vector field is time dependent. In other words, v is a function of x and t. We'll start by placing the probe again relatively high above the model. We again see a straight and steady smoke line. As we move the probe slowly toward the body, we again see the curvature of the smoke lines. Relative to the low angle of attack case, note that the curvature has increased. The smoke is still steady as we approach the body. However, when we start to get much closer to the body, we start to see that smoke lines change in time. In fact, they change so rapidly that the smoke tends to mix out. Clearly, the velocity is a function of x and t. As I bring the probe close to the leading edge strakes, we can see the significant curvature or corkscrew-like motion caused by the presence of the leading edge strake vortex. At this high angle of attack, you will also see that the smoke mixes out. That's because of the unsteadiness. When the flow is unsteady, the smoke particles move in all directions at different times and cause this mixing. Flow visualization is used to help engineers understand what is happening in a flow. Usually, flow visualization is combined with other measurements, such as force and moment measurements on the body, to arrive at a more complete picture. In the high angle of attack condition we just explored, a key question is when the straight vortex becomes unsteady. Where is this unsteadiness going to occur? For example, is it over the fuselage, over the wing, or somewhere else? This is important because the unsteady velocity is usually tied to unsteady pressures acting on the aircraft, which can then drive the aeroelastic instability and lead to decreased life of the parts of the aircraft. An example of this actually happened to the F-18, in which the tail of the aircraft was subjected to unsteady forces caused by fluctuations in the straight vortex. This caused the first F-18s to be limited to only a few hundred flight hours as opposed to the thousands of flight hours the Navy desired. A flow visualization of the F-18 straight vortex is shown here. Here's a quick summary of what we saw in this demonstration. Flow quantities around bodies are often analyzed using an Euler frame. The flow velocity is a vector field which, depending on the application, can be not only a function of space, but also time. For the aircraft model, we saw that at low angles of attack, the velocity vector field was steady, though it did depend on space. At high angles of attack, the velocity field was unsteady, in other words, depending on space and time.